At last, we've come to this moment. Is that the real you, the end? Are you blind? Do you not trust your own eyes? No, I can tell. This hostility, the hatred I feel, everything prior pales in comparison. We finally meet face to face. First, I wish to know how you enjoyed the trip up here. And I'd like to know how it feels to select your comrades, watch them dwindle in number, and continue on all the same. No clever words, huh? No matter. <laughs> your, your eyes tell me everything. They are filled with rage, practically twitching with hatred. Oh, it's just what I was hoping to see. But your anger is meaningless. A cheap plaything compared to what the rest of them do it. Their fate chosen for them by others. Your misfortune, measured against theirs, is meaningless. For you are still standing. You are still alive. I don't deny that. I am alive. Though I bear a heavy sin, I'm still breathing. When I think of those who died, perhaps I am fortunate to be alive. That's correct. You've been far too blessed. So much easier when you're the one choosing, huh? You are the key one behind making the choices because, in your own right, you're the chosen one. What are you getting at? It's part of who you are, your very existence. From the beginning, you were chosen. Chosen? Me? That's exactly why I can never forgive you. I will always hate you because you were the chosen one from the start, destined to live, and not me. That's why I planned this entire encounter around making you suffer. What? This is all your fault, Sho. I don't care about destroying the world. The fate of mankind isn't why I'm here. I only wanted one single thing to watch you suffer. You chose who lives and who dies, and you changed people's fates. I wanted to make you feel the weight of those choices, and that's exactly why I arranged all this. What are you spouting to make me suffer? You're telling me you started this whole ordeal just for that? Just for that? How can you ask that? I will never forgive you. You've been handed everything. You were guaranteed life itself. How could you possibly understand the despair of being sentenced to death? But don't worry. I'll make you understand. Whatever it takes. So this is what it took. You sacrificed the lives of so many people just to exact your personal revenge? Is that what this is? In that case, I will never forgive you. However much you hate me, I have my reasons for having to defeat you. I don't care about your reasons. To hell with them. All I care is that you suffer thoroughly. If I have to destroy the world to do that, so be it. It's insane. We must never lose to someone like him. All about revenge, huh? I understand it as a motive, but it doesn't make things all right. A plot for revenge that involves the whole world? The scale is a bit much. I'll be sure to deliver all the anger that was caused by this right back in your face. You're gonna be a pain in the ass until the very end, huh? If you want revenge, then just do it! Don't get everyone else tangled up in it too! The only thing worse than the whole world being destroyed is that it's all for reasons I don't even get. I guess it's about time we finished you off. This is our final battle. Let's do this, everyone! Let's go. This! Let's go. Well then. This
get in my way! More! Even more! Let's get this show on the road! Here! Thanks! I'll return you to Ash. Do this. Well then. then. Let's begin. I oh, didn't have to. Let's go. Take this. Take this. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Out of my way. This is the first. Oh. Go. I doubt you have any recollection, but you and I were actually raised in the same facility. In order to save their doomed world, the researchers there proposed a plan to implant the fate materia into human specimens. They determined that the stone's supernatural powers could only be harnessed through live implantation. And so the twelve of us were selected to be their test subjects. Myself and all of the sealed members. Those gifts you have are byproducts of receiving the fate materia. And by sheer luck, one of those byproducts made one of us most suitable to sort out our numbers. And that person was you, Sho. But of course, you don't remember us all being raised together. After all, 
Once the world was replicated and the two were split apart, they wiped all of our memories. They created this tower for the Other Earth Project. Thanks to the core materia, they were able to take the inconsistency point between the two worlds and give it physical form. That's what the pillar is. The judgment that you're so familiar with by now was also instrumental in the creation of the new world. It was a method of sending a child with materia to the other world. Do you see now the gravity of your sins, show? In your innocence, you made the final decision. Who should live and who should die? Don't you grasp the cruelty of it all? Let's go. Then let's begin. Here I go! Show on the road. I'll tear him apart. so very pleased with yourselves. Look at you. The heroes who save the world. Save for that sweet taste of victory. You've won a future full of hope. But I warn you not to forget. In the wake of that hope, there are many lives in despair as they draw their last breath. What do you mean by that? You are heroes. You have saved many lives today. But so too have you doomed countless others. Doomed? What are you talking about? Enjoy this victory. And may your ugly lives be forever cursed by the souls of those you erased. We won. Haven't we? Yes. With this it ends. We don't even need to check the body. That didn't sound like he was being a sore loser. But there's no way of knowing what he meant. The end really was a mysterious person till the very end, wasn't he? That guy's a pain in the ass even in death. He was just spouting nonsense. He's a real piece of work if you ask me. Couldn't just let us have a clean ending. The end's parting words concern me a little. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we won. Let's head home, everyone. The world we saved is waiting for us. We were victorious against the end. We prevented the nuclear warheads from being launched and saved the world from destruction. The world was at peace once more. Supposedly, but for some reason, the end's last words still weighed heavily on my mind. You are heroes, and you have saved many lives today. But so too have you doomed countless others. I didn't understand the truth behind those words, and I had no way to find out. I fear we may never know if, in the wake of our victory, countless lives really were lost. Sensational. 
we didn't know, and we never would know, about those who were sacrificed at the cost of this victory, nor the weight of the sin we had to carry because of it.